Today, I will show you how I transformed this geometric glass container into a closed moss wall ecosystem. This geometric enclosure was made by me using glass and silicon. I will leave a build process video link in the description. You can use any available glass container for this project. Just make sure that the lid is transparent so that light can pass through. You can choose between square or round ones. I personally like square and polygonal shapes. I start by using isopropyl alcohol on a microfiber cloth to clean and disinfect the container. I have chosen these two small pieces of aged driftwood from an earlier project for the hardscape. I want to keep the finished setup very lightweight in order to protect the thin glass. For the same reason, I will not be using any stones or rocks for the hardscape. I want to fix the wood on the glass, but before that, I will need to make it a bit shorter so that it fits inside the container. I am using a handsaw for this job. I apply a dab of clear silicone sealant on the sawed end of the wood and attach it to the back wall of the container. I use a roll of tape to support the wood. After a 24 hour curing, the wood is attached firmly to the glass. I proceed with attaching the second piece of wood. I break one end of the wood to shorten it a bit. I try my best to make the broken end look as natural as possible. Like before, I apply silicone on the wood and attach it to the glass. I use a small container to hold the piece in place while it cures. I give it 24 hours to dry after which I remove the support and get ready for the next steps. Time now to prepare the substrate. I am planning a moss wall for the back. For that, I will use this aqua soil powder which I mix with water to make a dough. You can grind aqua soil pellets in a grinder to make the powder. Now I will prepare my terrarium substrate mix for the bottom. I am using two parts of coco peat, about one part of coarse river sand, one part of pine bark, one part of sphagnum moss, one part of activated carbon and half a cup of aqua soil. I mix everything thoroughly and the soil is now ready. The next part is going to be quite messy so I am wearing a glove for the job. I am applying the aqua soil paste to cover the back wall. I am creating a layer that will be about 1 cm thick. It can be even thinner if you plan to just have moss on it. I will be mounting plants on it and hence I want it to be a bit thicker. I am using my hands and fingers to spread out the paste. I use a wine cork attached on a skewer to further smoothen it out for hard to reach areas. I move forward with the next step which is planting the sheet moss on the wall. I place patches of moss on the soil and use my DIY tool to press it firmly against it. I repeat the process till the entire back wall is covered in moss. I give the moss wall a good misting and wipe up the glass. Now I will create a drainage layer or a false bottom inside the container. This will store any excess water keeping the soil above it relatively dry and facilitate the water cycle in this closed ecosystem. I am using lava rocks for the layer as they are lightweight and porous. Beneficial bacteria will find housing in the pores of these rocks which will help to keep the ecosystem bioactive. I am adding the substrate directly on top of the drainage layer. I typically use a mesh barrier between the false bottom and substrate. But with the smaller lava rock layer, it will just be fine. I am also skipping a separate charcoal layer as I have mixed it already with the substrate. I model the substrate with a brush and give it a misting. Now it is ready for planting. I start with a strawberry begonia which interestingly is neither a strawberry nor a true begonia. More about this plant in the description. I place patches of moss to cover the soil around the plant. Next in line is this mini bulbitis which happens to be one of my favorite plants. I place it behind the begonia and add one more to balance the look. I am cutting a piece of anodized aluminium wire into small bits which I will use to mount plants on the moss wall. I am mounting a fern using one of the wire bits which I have bent into a loop. I wedge the plant with it and gently push the wire ends into the soil. Eventually the plant will root onto the wall and the wire can be removed at that point in time. I use the same process to mount a Pelionia repens on the moss wall. This time I take the help of my tweezers to push the ends of the looped wire into the soil. I am using a skewer to make a hole in the soil in which I plant Phytonia green cuttings. This plant will add some texture in the foreground. This is followed by two Anubias plants which I place alongside the begonia on the right of the enclosure. These are aquatic epiphytic plants and do very well in close terrariums. I plant a mini bulbitis behind it and proceed to add a few tinier ones on the moss wall along the driftwood. 
I'm adding cosmetic sand in the foreground to create some interest. I spread it out with a brush to cover the area evenly. I'm adding small lava rock pieces on the edge where the moss meets the sand to give it a natural look. Again, I use a brush to spread out the rocks in a way so that it looks like a scene from nature. I have a bit more planting to do to achieve the look I am aiming for. I plant a long cutting of ficus pumila on the wall and extend it to rest on the driftwood like a wild creeper. I plant cuttings of Pelionia repens inside the foliage of the Phytonia plants. Cuttings of Selaginella are mounted on the wall to create more contrast. I also planted a small strawberry begonia on the moss wall. Finally, I placed a couple of very tiny cuttings of Peperomia prostrata in the foreground. This completes the planting for this scape. I will now drop in some springtails from my active culture. These are beneficial critters and will help with prevention and control of mold in a closed terrarium ecosystem. Now I will give it a thorough misting and wipe the glass one last time. Our closed moss wall ecosystem is finally complete and ready to sit on my shelf to do its own thing. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and see you in the next one. Thank you.